One of my favorite creation and literacy apps is Book Creator for the iPad. When we go to the App Store, you'll see that overall this is a high rating of four stars with 220 ratings for all versions. So that makes me want to take a look at our own App Evaluator and see how it does. And it received a mode score of four, mostly because this gives the opportunity for students to do some high order thinking, be very creative, and share their thoughts and ideas. The only thing it doesn't do is it does not provide feedback for the students. Okay, when you open up Book Creator, you'll see that it provides a short little tutorial. So if you ever wanted to go back and get some more information on how to use Book Creator, you can always watch the tutorial they provided. We're gonna go start with a new book here. In the top left hand corner, we'll go ahead and click New Book gives you three options for how you want to set up your book. So I'm going to go with the portrait view here and it automatically opens up for me to design my cover. I'm going to talk about the tools. First of all, this is a really easy app to use. Up in the top left hand corner, you can always go back to my books and that shows your whole book collection. You have pages here. We can look at the pages you've created so far, um, so far. And then you can also edit the order of your pages just by clicking edit and moving them around. You can delete pages here by clicking the little minus there. And then of course my favorite is always undo up there in the toolbar if you ever make a mistake. Now over on the right hand side here's our little plus to add the things we want to add. So to design our cover you might want to add some photos from your photo library. You can also use the camera and just snap a picture using your iPad add the text you want to add and add some sound to any of the pages you want to add. So first of all let's go to photos and the kindergarten class is going to do a little seasonal book about spring. So in my library I already have some images from spring. So let's go ahead and take this one and it automatically adds in there so you just grab little circles on the edges here and that's let you resize it. If you click in the middle of a picture, you can move it anywhere on the cover, and you'll see those lines come up to help you align the picture. The next thing you do is add some text. So I'm going to go ahead and add the title to my book. We'll just simply call it Spring. Hit Done. Now, in this little eye up in your toolbar, this gives you the option to change the font size change how your style is for your font and all the different options you want to do with your text are all underneath the eye. You can change the color of the text. Let's make it a little more spring color here. The other thing underneath the eye is a page design. So I can change the background color of my pages in my book. I can also add a soundtrack if I turn that on. I could choose from my iTunes library that I have on my iPad a song to play throughout the book if I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, that looks pretty good for my cover so far. If I click this next, it lets me start designing the inside of my book. So you'll see here side by side I have two pages right now, pages two and three. I'm going to go ahead and add another photo. And what I did is I took uh, some pictures of some student artwork. So here we have a kindergartner's drawing and so a teacher could take images of you know students drawing, students work, maybe they're doing uh, some kind of a science project, you want to take some images of the process and then they're going to create a book about that particular science project and so forth. Okay so then I'm going to go ahead and add some text to my page. So for the students, you could write an entire story. And since this is kindergartners, I am just going to put the name of the artist for this picture and change that font to be a little bit smaller. And then I just need to click on it and drag it up here. Okay. So now for the little guys, since they can't really type too much there, we can actually go in and add a recording. So you could have your kindergartners and first graders actually tell you a story. You could have even students write out a story and then record their voice telling the story uh, for the readers to enjoy. So I'll go ahead and start a little recording here. This is me and my mom standing outside of the house looking at the flowers on a beautiful spring day. 
Once I stop it, it says, do you want to add this? And yes, I want to go ahead and use it. And what it does is it gives me just a little sound icon I can place anywhere on my page so the reader knows to go ahead and click that and they have some sound to enjoy on that page in the book. I'm going to go ahead and add another image here from my library. You'll see it's really easy just to select things, move them around, resize them, and really put your book together. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more sound. Now you'll see here we recorded on the last page, but you could add a song from your library. So I'm going to go ahead and use Forever Young. Now the opportunities are endless for what kind of books you could create, adding images, taking pictures, and so forth in the classroom. We have some students doing the Revolutionary War for the CBA, so they have talking about the different parties involved in the Revolutionary War. Uh, you could do a biography on Steve Jobs and so forth. So it's, it's just endless what you could do with Book Creator. Now, when the book's done, you do have the box and arrow here where you could go ahead and, and export it out somewhere. But what I suggest is to go back to the library, to my books, and look at the book in this format. And down here you'll see that it's called A New Book by an Author. What I suggest is when the book is done, we go back here and we click on the I. And this is, gives us the opportunity to change the title of the book. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to Spring and then put in the author. So then if you have separate students creating their own books, they could put in their name and as a teacher that makes it easier for you to go in and you know read the books and um, give some feedback to individual students. So now I have Spring by Roderick. Then I go into the box and arrow and I can publish that book in different uh, apps that are available. So in iBooks is the most exciting because then the students are published in iBooks. So when I go to my library here just to see, you'll see it's now my bookshelf in iBooks. And to read that book, I just simply click on it and it works just like a book would in iBooks. And if I click on the little icon here. This is me and my mom standing outside of the house looking at the flowers on a beautiful spring day and you've created a book in Book Creator.